Hello everyone, welcome to the Clarity 16.2.3 Feature Supportability Training. My name is Bill Yee. And today we're going to cover uh, the new enhancements for workforce modeling plans for 16.2.3. So what's new with workforce modeling plans? So uh, for this release, we allow now the capability of renaming, uh, changing the plan name for investment OBS type plans. So previously, uh, if you created a plan via investment OBS, the OBS unit name was the plan name and you wasn't able to change it. <clears throat> but with the introductions of rounds from last release, uh, there are situations where you may want to change the name uh, for your particular plan and now we allow that capability of changing the the uh, plan name for investment OBS type plans. Also with the introduction of rounds uh, if I had wanted to see a prior round I had to go back to the plan grid drill down and come back the navigation wasn't wasn't great. So now when you're in a particular plan hierarchy we have a new round selector where you can switch between uh, different rounds to see information from prior rounds and then uh, you know or go back to your uh, most current round as well so uh, that's a nice enhancement we have uh, for investment OBS type plans also to when you're in the plan grid you can have plans with different <clears throat> well uh, different number of rounds and it was hard to determine what is the most current round for each of the different plan hierarchies in your grid and our current filtering infrastructure uh, didn't allow you to do actually do that so what we've done is provided a smart filter where if you filter on plan round uh, we have an option called current round and what it'll bring back is is the most current round for each plan uh, for each plan hierarchy in your plan grid we also allow the capability, we created uh, the capability for resource type plans to do a resource sync. So we have that capability for investment OBS type plans to do an investment sync, bring back the latest information inside uh, for investment OBS type plans, but we didn't have for resource type plans. So what the resource sync allows you to do is one, it brings back for the resources in your resource type plan bring back the latest information uh, for those resources uh, in in your in those resource type plans and then two it allows you now true versioning now for resource type plan because when you we did a version there is versioning already but it only version the add and remove values within the plan uh, that other information related, say if you want to get information related to allocations or or total usage, we act, we're actually looking at the live data related to that uh, that you have under the global staffing area. So now we have true versioning uh, snapshot point in time uh, for resource type plans, and we'll demonstrate that uh, uh, shortly. Also, too, we've uh, added business rules as part of plans. So we've um, you can now uh, do uh, you know making attributes read only, hiding of sections, uh, allow that you know we have that capability within uh, uh, for plans having business rules. And also, too, we introduced the uh, uh, idea for system rules, which are read only rules that we seed related to uh, seeded rules related to plans to, uh, and it, it helps from a visibility standpoint of what rules that are actually happening within uh, within the plans and also too it helps if you're creating other business rules have some context of what other rules are actually defined uh, uh, you know uh, within your plans to help you make you know uh, help, help you make uh, better configure business rules within plans and also do the system rules there we're going to apply to other areas within Clarity. So why are these new changes important? Uh, these new changes were based on feedback we heard from customers. 
that have been uh, working with plans and and using it as part of their uh, annual operating process. So we'll continuously work with our, our customers and trying to improve plans uh, for every uh, upcoming releases for Clarity. So workforce modeling plans are still beta for 16.2.3 but we are interested in your feedback and some of the prior feedback we uh, utilize for this release and we always want to make this better uh, a better product for our customers to use within their organization so uh, any feedback uh, please let us know uh, we're interested uh, to see and making uh, plans work uh, for our Clarity customers So let's give a demonstration of workforce modeling plans so you can see it in action. So I'm going to give a demonstration of the new plan enhancements for 16.2.3. So the first change we did is for uh, uh, these four uh, investment OBS plan types is that now previously you weren't able to uh, change the name of the plan. <clears throat> so um, but there are times in where you may want to change the name outside of what you have for the OBS. So now we're able to change the plans. So for example, we'll call this Omega. And now you can change a plan name for a particular uh, investment OBS. And then you can go ahead and apply it to other areas inside. Now we've also added a new column called OBS Unit. So, and this is a read only column. So then you're able to identify uh, what the original OBS unit this particular plan was was created by but this makes it uh, 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 nice and where you can actually change it like here add a suffix for the actual fiscal fiscal year for your uh, the plan you're working with and also too we made an enhancement related to the uh, uh, update OBS structure so if I drill down into one of these plans actually go back let's go to the latest one and for example, if I run an update plan structure uh, from OBS, and if I click through, it lets you know there's been a change from what the OBS unit name in the system with what I renamed. But also, too, and I'll tell you what that new structure is, but we have an option here now to preserve manual changes, uh, name changes. So and my default is checked. So just in case that um, if you want to preserve that change, uh, you can for um, uh, uh, when you do it an update plan structure from OBS. So we'll cancel off from here. And another change we did is that if you look through it with our introduction of plans from last uh, rounds from last release, sometimes you just want to get the latest round uh, for each uh, plan hierarchy. Like here it's three. Uh, this one is five, this one's three, and this one's four. Uh, the way our current filtering is, there's no real way of getting what the latest current round uh, from the grid in, in here. So we created a smart filter for the, uh, for the plan round. So if we go ahead and search for plan round, we have this called current round. And what it will do, it will return what the the most current round is for each of the plan hierarchies in your plan grid. So if I go ahead and select it, so what it'll do, it'll probably bring back like here for Omega, it's round three. For the carryover, it's round five. Uh, for the uh, carryover ideas, it's three. And for the 2025 ideas, it's round four. So if I go back, click on it, that's what it'll do. Uh, kind of takes kind of the mental guesswork trying to do that in your head and provides it's a nice way of actually doing this mental filter. One thing to note, um, it brings back the current round for across all plans across all fiscal years. So if you want to look for a specific fil uh, fiscal year, just uh, filter on fiscal year that for the one that you're looking for. So let's go ahead and remove this one here. And uh, let's go into our new round switcher. Before, if you want to see a particular round, you had to go into a particular round and then come back to the grid to go to it. 
So now if we come back here near now, we have this uh the the route badge and now you're able to switch between rounds while you're within a particular plan hierarchy. So I can go to round four, round two. It's just a just a nice navigation element in terms of uh, without having to go back to the plan grid to go to a particular round. So this is our new round switcher uh, that we have. The other new enhancement is that now we have in investment OBS we have our ability to sync and update uh, investment information but we didn't have that ability to do a resource sync for um, plan types for resource type plan types. And now we do. Say, for example, we have a plant type for resources. If we drill down into it, we have this new button called Sync Resources. So let's go into the Resources module for that. So what it will do, <clears throat> it will go ahead and sync and update the resource information for your existing resources within your plan. So, um, so say, for example, when you're doing a resource plan you're pretty pretty much managing by headcount but you're using some of the information you have related to um, your resource your resource staffing in in terms of utilizing that when you're doing your headcount planning and th this example for example uh, we have Paul Martin and right now it's not allocated to anything right now when we when we uh, d did the original sync for this particular plan so, uh, but in the meantime, what we had, that has been allocated, Paul Martin has been allocated to a particular project. So before we do that, let's go ahead first, let's create a new version. We call this for now V1, because we'll come back later, because what it, what this new change for the resource syncs, it allows us true versioning for that one. So, for example, we do a save, and what it does, it, you know, it does a point in time snapshot, Right now, these for Paul Martin and the other items, for Paul Martin particularly, there's nothing's been, uh, for this one example, there's no allocation to it. And we can come back to the work and copy it here. So as I mentioned before, what we've done, we go to the, the staffing area. And then we'll see here under e-commerce portal, Paul Martin has been allocated. So the time that we, we did for the previous plan, we, you know, there's nothing allocated, but in the meantime, Paul's been allocated to e-commerce portal, and you see some allocations as part of it here. So let's go to the plan, and what it'll do, will update that information. So he's been allocated from April all the way through the end of the year. So if we go back to the plan that we had before. Now note the resource sync is only available at the top level plan similar to how we have on the investment OBS plan so and then when we run it has the similar banner when it's actually running in here so it's updating the existing resources that we have under that we have already in here in here so right now you come inside now that information that was uh, the allocation that we had uh, uh, under on the staffing workspace now you can see that updated within our plans here already so this is a a new change but also too uh, as I mentioned there's point in time versioning so if we go back to v1 you'll see at that point in time there was nothing allocated for Paul Martin because you don't want uh, things that are happening on the resource side uh, necessarily bring it in within our plans so you, uh, so plan owners can have ability, you know, level of control when they want the information updated within their plans. And if you come back to the work and copy, we have the latest and greatest in terms of the information imported as part of our plan. So that's a new uh, enhancement, a resource sync for resource type plans. And last but not least, we've added the ability to do business rules within plans. So if we go to the blueprint, and you'll see uh, a rules area where now you're able to configure business rules and information, lock fields, what have you, on the uh, 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 within plans. And one thing new that we introduce within business rules uh, 
or additionally that there were plans was going to be applied to uh, other areas within Clarity, we created system rules. So, uh, and here's one of the system rules here where, say for example, plan type equals investment. Let's go, let me just drill down, make it a little easier. If the plan type is investment, we disable the editing of the fiscal year and parent. Now, these are read only rules. So, if I come inside here and look at it, I will not be able to change it, even though, you know, I'm in kind of sort of in uh, editing this particular. Uh, this uh, you know this particular rule and the reason for this rule is that it provides transparency of what things are actually you know uh, some of the seeded rules that we have for plans and uh, it's nice we may not you know yeah, try to track it down within the um, in the documentation and also too if you're creating new rules you could compare some of the rules that we seeded versus the rules you're going to be creating. Um, so let's take a look at this one here. So this one is where the plan type is investment OBS will disable editing for the parent and for the fiscal year attributes. Well, before I go and show you how this is executed, a, for, for plans, on, you know, for plans, we're only allowing view type rules, view page rules uh, only. So uh, no attribute update. Uh, rules at least at this time. So let's go ahead and see how see how this rule is executed within the plan. If we come here, let's go to investment OBS, and then we cover this one, and let's bring out the flyout. You'll see the fiscal year is locked by business rule, and the parent one here is locked by business rule. So uh, as I mentioned, these system rules provide some level of uh, visibility. Uh, on what rules are actually happening. Now also to uh, end users create their own business rules as they wish and lock certain other attributes uh, or, or or hide particular modules as they wish on the plan because uh, it's not just system rules that are actually happening within plans. And that concludes my demonstration of the new plan enhancements for 16.2.3. So this concludes our presentation and demonstration of workforce modeling plans. Thank you.